We're in Office 365 online. I'm going to show you how to add a lot of different users all at once in, by importing a CSV file. So let's take a look and see how we do that. First thing we have to do is we have to go in and create a CSV file. So basically that just means you're going to open up Excel or any other spreadsheet program. You're going to open it up and we're going to add the following different fields. And then we're going to save it as a CSV file, which I'll show you in just a second. So what we have to do at the top is we have to put in user principal name. Then under the B column, put in display name, first name, last name, and password. Now there's also additional columns you can add, such as the location, the type of license you want to add, and, and things like that. So there, there could be another five or ten more columns you could do. But this is just going to be simply how to add a lot of users at one time, and you can take a look at what those different switches are later. So I went ahead and add in two different users, but you can put in as many as you want in here. I put in uh, Terry and Frida. Then under the display name, I put in their full names, and then I put their first names, their last names, and then the password. Now, this password obviously is not a good secure password, so you're going to want to have them reset that password after they log in the first time. So now that that's done, what you want to do is choose File, Save As, and then you're going to choose the location where you want it, and then choose the CSV file. There's many different types of CSV files, so make sure you don't choose the, uh, the one that says UTF-8. You want to choose the one that just says CSV comma delimited. That is it. So once that file is saved, then you will have your file that you can import. Make sure you don't try to do this within the root of the C drive because by default you won't have the proper rights in all cases. So it's easier if you just create a folder. In this case, we created a folder called CSV and we put our file into that. So once we've saved our file, then we're going to go ahead and uh, import the file to create the users. So let's go ahead and go back to our PowerShell in Office 365, and we're going to type in some commands. So the first command is we're going to import the CSV. So we're going to type in import-csv. Then we're going to put the path to the CSV file. So the path is going to be C colon backslash, and then you've got the, um, the CSV folder, and then the file name itself. There it is. And then we're going to put in some additional things that have to do with the exact path that we just created. So if we paste this in, I'll go over what that means. So for each different user, create a new user. So the command is new-msol user. Then the user principal name, that is going to be the email address. So it's going to follow the user principal name that you see in the CSV file. Then it's going to go to the display name, then the first name, then the last name. So just like I showed you in the CSV file, it's going to follow that exact pattern. So I'm going to go ahead and paste in the command all at once. And I'll also put it into the comments section in the uh, actual uh, video description. All right, so now we can see that our command worked. The uh, two users were just created. If we do a get dash msol or Microsoft Online user, we can see that those users have now been added. We see Frida's now on the list, and we also see Terry's on the list. There's also switches to automatically license these users as well. So take a look in the description area for the command I just typed in. Go ahead and create your CSV file. Connect to Office 365 PowerShell. And I have another video on how I did that in this playlist. And then you can import as many different users as you like and create mailboxes for them.